Yeah, I mean, this week may be a little bit different than last week. We'll see what, um, you know, how he feels, uh, in, you know, when we go out there today. Um, but ultimately, it's the same mindset. What'd you take away from, from that film? I mean, obviously, you guys lost the game, but um, what were the things that you saw that, that you can build upon, whether you're the quarterback or you? Yeah, I think there's just some little things that if we clean up, you know, maybe we don't hit a little lull here and there and we can keep the chains moving a little bit more. It's just those 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 little details of, um, you know, going to the right guy, you know, little maybe a little something in a route. Um, uh, I think that's always what it is. You know, you always go back to the film and there's probably, you know, five to ten things that you could look at and kind of question whether they might make a difference or not. But I think even when you win the game, that, that's the trouble when you look at the film. Even when you win games, there's there's plays like that where if you didn't win, you'd be questioning if, if they were the difference makers. So you just got to be ready to go at all times. And I think we did a good job, you know, fighting through everything and being ready and giving ourselves the best chance. What do you think of Josh Downey's performance? And what has been your impression of him? Josh, yeah, Josh is great, man. Uh, obviously, we've relied on him the last couple of weeks in the slot to kind of uh, get open and, and do his thing, and he's done a really good job. Shane talked about just the, the sense of urgency, just you know, finishing games. You've been around this league for a long time. Will that be a focus this week of just being in a position, take your business, and get it done? I think sometimes when you you, ha you haven't played a ton of games, you're not really you don't really get the fact that the NFL comes down to the last couple minutes every single game you're in. It seems like, and I think when you've been around a long time, you realize like. You know, you can't let your guard down and, and relax at any point um, because the game will be a full 60 minutes no matter what you're thinking in the first quarter. And the season goes the same way. You know, you, you can't all of a sudden, you know, start to have a negative attitude um, five weeks into the season because there's still, it's still a 17 game season and you don't know how it's all going to shake out. And if you want to give yourself the best chance of being successful in the game, in the season, you got to keep your head down and keep grinding and don't look up until it's all over because, you know, those things can affect you if you, if you pay too much attention to them and, and, and usually in a negative way. Joe, you've been speaking to the media obviously for 20 years, but um, do you prepare something like this moment here where we're asking you about Richardson and is he going to play and are you going to play? Do you got to prepare yourself to make sure you don't spill the beans? <laughs> I don't think there's any beans to spill, which makes it easy. Um, but I don't know. These guys, you know, Matt, everybody does a good job of making sure you don't do that. <laughs> I've never been a guy that's probably, hey, prepare me on 20 different things. You know, that would probably, if that was the case and I was thinking about it too much, then I would definitely mess up and who knows what I would say. Um, I try to answer as honestly as I can. I mean, I know honesty in this atmosphere is probably somewhat of a questionable thing like you obviously can't be a hundred percent truthful um you know because then you'd be beating yourself up you'd probably be throwing people under the bus left and right who knows what you'd be doing if you were a hundred percent truthful but I, you know i'm sure i did things when i was younger that i don't do now and maybe they made sense maybe they didn't who knows i think you kind of learn your way and you try to be as honest as you can. And uh, like I said, even when you have to skirt around it, as long as you're just straightforward and you know you try to do a good job answering the question, I think that's kind of my strategy in, in, in doing these things. Joe, was, a couple more to go, like Pierce, a deep guy. When, I mean, it, it takes a special talent that the things that go together. He wants to be more of it, but he's a deep guy right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, I kind of have a thought that maybe, I don't, you know. Good. Listen, he's. What do you mean? Like he, he's, oh man, like he's a deep threat because he's a really good athlete. He's big. He can run. I mean, all the things that you want. Like uh, at the same time, I guess you're kind of asking it like, why is that all he's been? Or maybe is that all? You know, he's he. I think he, I actually think he's really good. I, I think he can do those those other little things. Um, I just think we have other guys that are in those roles to a certain extent. So. Um, I think I said it after the game, I felt bad for not getting him into, the, you know, I, as a quarterback, it's not like I'm out there thinking about like, oh, where's, where, where's Pierce, you know? Uh, I'm just going through my reads and getting the balls to the guys that, you know, hopefully where it's supposed to go. But you do, you like, you know, he's interested in getting the ball and being a part of this team and, and really making a difference. So when guys aren't a big part of it, you do kind of feel that a little bit as a quarterback. 
And believe me, it's not because he doesn't have talent and isn't a really good player. So the fact that he was, that's the other side of him. The fact that I, I think that I've seen the last couple of weeks, just mentally, the fact that he's able to stay in it, even though he had zero catches for the, through the first three and a half quarters, basically. Um, and then all of a sudden he gets his number called like three times in a row and he just hits big time, each one of them. Uh, that says a lot about who he is. Do you have a couple backups on the offensive here. line um, in the two games you've played? To, to not have to think about, you know, hey, is, is Tanner going to hold his guy? Is Dalton going to hold his guy? How does that help you with the quarterback? Stuff? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, those guys, listen, the game starts with those guys. The offensive side of the ball, it, on the offensive side of the ball, it starts with the guys up front. And to be able to have such a, a room that's able to kind of step in and just go in and play, not even blink, a couple rookies in, in, in the case the last couple of weeks, it's impressive. And, I, and I'm not just – to go back to being truthful to the media, I'm not. I'm. I'm being 100% truthful. This game starts with the offensive and defensive line. Uh, I don't care that we're in 2024, 20, not 1970 anymore. It still starts and ends with those guys. So when you guys, when you have a good group and a deep group, it makes a big difference. Yeah, what do the uh, kids think of the 21-yard run? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They. I, I don't think they said much about that. Uh, they probably had. They had some other critiques. Uh, they did. They actually got on me. They told me I was selling, so who knows, you know. <laughs>